Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Advanced Laser and Bullet Decals how-to videos. In this video we're going to show you how to get the physics I and I set up correctly. So let's go ahead and start by going to the Advanced Laser and Bullet Decal project page and adding to our project. So I'll go ahead and add it to our existing project I have created here uh, called Video Training. Just a blank project. Add to project and then it'll go ahead and uh, add it to it. I'll go to that project and open it up and get started. Oh, that went too far. Video training. Alright, so basically the uh, files are installed. Uh, one of the most important things you have to do is install the physics uh, INI um, to correctly reference the correct uh, physics materials that are set up in the, the pack. Uh, just the way that the, the launcher and projects work, you're not able to um, automatically do that piece because you don't want to overwrite people's uh, existing uh, setup if they have an existing setup. If you had an existing setup, you'll have to go ahead and integrate this um, into your named materials. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started for the default setup. So right now, we don't want to open the map. Once you first open up your project, you have a new folder called decals. And then what we want to do is before we even open up the demo room, we want to go into uh, edit and then project settings and then go into physics option underneath the engine category and then we'll find a uh, option called import because what we want to do is set up these surface types See, right now they're all set to none and that's a problem that means the links will be broken um, so we need to set that up first so we'll go ahead and do that hit import and where this is located is in your root directory of your project so uh, you go to your uh, project folder and uh, you'll see the physics setup.ini click on that to import it and then what will happen is it won't show up here but it has imported you have to actually shut down the project and then open it back up so I'll go ahead and do that now and then when now when it comes back up it should associate correctly all the physics uh, INI to the correct material settings so now all your uh, physical materials will be correctly mapped to the right particle effect and decal so now once we're in here, we can double check by going to edit project settings once again and go into physics. And then you'll see down here now the uh, material types and surface types are set up correctly. So we'll go ahead and test the demo map correctly and see what is correct or not. We'll go to decals and then to maps, advanced decals. And once this map loads up, uh, we can go ahead and hit play and once you hit play, it, I have it set up to the shoot an invisible gun so you can sit there and see the impacts. So I was waiting for this to, to load up. We'll test that out. All right, welcome back. All right, so now since the shaders are built, I'll go ahead and hit play and test it out. Now I can see that it is correctly mapped. I have it printed off on the screen. We see we're hitting metal and we're having metal sparks. We're having concrete. Then if we do the side shooting, that we do still get everything correct. So there we go. This will be working pretty nice now. So that's how you get the physics I and I set up to correctly see the demo map. If you're able to see the demo map, you should be set to use these in your project. If you, if you have any more problems or questions, leave comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.